2031. Show me some fun. Hi, y'all. Um, today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. We've been doing this for a week now. Um, I miss you. I love you. If you need anything, holler at me. Catch me on TikTok or or not. It's totally fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna be fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna be fine. All right, let's dive in. Where should I go today? Maybe I'll go here today. Present. Hey, y'all, we got a birthday in the house. So on the count of three, let's see if I remember it. One, two, three. Go, Lysha. Go, Lysha. Go, Lysha. Hey, 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 Lysha. I'm going to be real mad if she doesn't watch this video. Lysha, may you always... Blaze your own trail and stand out from the pack. Um, happy birthday. Um, some shout outs from yesterday. Oh, one clap for Elianette, Isabella Polanco, John, Jorge, Jorvi, Katie, Madeline, Valeria, Aaron, Alex, Chris Mary, Ethan, Jose, Michael, Raphael, Wesley. Maya, Naya, Richard, Rihanna, all those friends got 100% on yesterday's exit ticket, which is awesome. Couple more shout outs. Um, shout out to Javian, Mia, John, Katie, and Madeline, because they reached out when they had questions yesterday about um, why they got counted wrong on um, question number six on the exit ticket. Um, so that was like super awesome uh, that all those folks got 100. However, our class average was only a 64, which isn't great. So I wanted to go over some of the questions that we really struggled with. Um, the first one being uh, rocks breaking apart. So so that's awesome that, that over half of you um, put weathering because that is weathering rocks breaking apart remember if you take two rocks and you bang them together they break apart weathering 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 ow um rocks breaking apart is weathering um a little more concerning or sorry a little less concerning um Sediment settling in a new place. Remember, deposition, 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 deposition um, is when sediment settles in a new place after it slows down. Um, this one is the one that confused most people is erosion. Erosion is when those sediments, after they break apart, those sediments flow. Those sediments flow, either with wind or water. Um, it's like a three-step process. It's like weathering, erosion, deposition. Let's do it again. Weathering, erosion, deposition. Um, and I understand this is the first time you heard it yesterday. Cementation, um, cement, like cement is hard and it starts soft, it's like all mixed together, it starts soft and then it, it hardens um, like cement. So the new rock, the new rock hardening is cementation. So like, we're gonna add a gesture for com compaction, which is the rock like, like squishing together, compaction, compaction, and then, cementation we're going to take like our moving fingers it's like cementation cementation because it hardens into that new rock form cementation compaction 
cementation. And just to like quickly review the order, step one, weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, cementation. Um, I, so weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, cementation. Uh, I'll give bonus points to anybody who can come up with a mnemonic device to help us remember the order. An example of a mnemonic device is PEMDAS. So like a way to remember PEMDAS is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, or the way that I learned how to remember the order of the planets is my very excellent mother just served us nine pizzas. Unfortunately, pizzas isn't a planet anymore, but that's how I learned it when I was your age. Cool. God, I keep having to move my face. <sighs> how annoying to have your face in the way all the time. Blech. So how do we create new rock from old rock? Because rock is never created nor destroyed. It just changes. So like one way that it changes is by weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, cementation, and but that forms sedimentary rocks. But that's not the only type of rock. The other way, man, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna we're going up here. We're going up here. <laughs> the other way that rock can change, oh my God. Another way that rock can change, other than like breaking apart, is heat lots and now i'm not talking about like stove heat i'm not saying that if you put a rock in your oven it's gonna melt no i'm talking about the heat the like intense heat that is inside of the earth intense heat inside the earth's mantle like it's super hot. I'm not talking, yeah, I'm not talking like, you know what, like set your oven to 425 degrees and roast some carrots or potatoes, nah, or some chicken. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about thousands of degrees with inside the earth's mantle. That is another way a rock can change. A rock can get shoved down into the mantle at a plate boundary and it can melt, it can melt, it can melt. And then when it recools, it forms what we call an igneous rock, an igneous rock. The way I remember that, I'm like, I see this flame over here. To like get a fire started, you ignite the flame, ignite, igneous, boom, igneous. Heat, melt, cool. Don't worry, I made y'all a model. So what if I took that sedimentary rock from my rock layers yesterday and I add heat? No. Get really, really, really hot in melt. Underground, it's called magma. Above ground, it's called lava. But when that lava or magma cools, it forms what we call an igneous rock, which it looks a little bit like poop, but let me tell you, it was delicious. No, why is that? Why do you do that? Why? 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 Cool. So rocks can change by breaking apart and then reforming in layers. Rocks can also form, uh, or excuse me, rocks can also change by melting and then recooling. Now, um, we're gonna do a little bit of reading about igneous rocks today. Um, you can read it on your own. It is posted on Google Classroom. If you would like me to read it aloud to you, stay here and finish watching the video. If you would like to read it on your own, um, 
you may go ahead and do that. I suggest you take your time and read it carefully because there are questions from the reading on today's exit ticket. Uh, if you're leaving now, I love you. Um, have a great day. If you're sticking around, um, follow along as I read aloud. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess that's fine. Cooling lava. Cooling lava. Imagine that you woke up at 1 a.m. to see a volcano erupting. You probably would be frightened, but also you might think the volcano looked beautiful. The photo shows what some people in Iceland saw out their windows. This picture is beautiful, but the threat to the town was terrible. What do you think could be done to stop the flow of lava? Well, I know that lava is like super hot. So, and whenever I see a fire, I put water on it. So maybe you could like put water on the edge so that it cools down and hardens and stop flowing. I don't know, just an idea. Um, look at the map and find Iceland. It is a large island in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean, between Greenland and Norway. Many small islands surround the larger island. Heimae is one of those small islands. So here's Iceland. On January 23rd, 1973, Mount Eldfell, a volcano on the island of Hiame erupted. This volcano is not far from the center of a small fishing village. The lava from the volcano moved toward the town and spilled into the water. If it kept on flowing, the entrance to the harbor would be destroyed. Is there a way to stop the lava flow? Melted earth material that erupts through the earth's surface from a volcano is called lava. This red glowing material is so hot that it can burn and destroy plants, trees, animals, and houses. It can reach temperatures of 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. That is more than six times hotter than boiling water. As the lava spreads across the cooler earth, it is flow, its flow is slowed down. There are different types of lava, lava and some of it is very thick and does not move quickly. Mount Eldfell is about three miles from the center of town. Within two weeks, the center of town was threatened with destruction. The harbor would be destroyed. During those two weeks, the lava reached within a thousand yards of the edge of the town. That is the length of 10 football fields. The second threat was that the lava flowing into the harbor would harden when it hit the cold water. The hardened lava, when it cools down, it forms igneous rocks. The hardened lava would then build up and block the harbor. Um, the harbor is where ships come in um, to like deliver. It's like usually like a port. Um, yeah. Um, the hardened lava would then build up and block the harbor. This means that fishing boats could not enter or leave the harbor. Food and other supplies needed to be brought to the island, but boats would not be able to get into the harbor. Most of the people who lived on the island left when the volcano first erupted. Some people stayed because they wanted to save the town. The town. Scientists who studied volcanoes and lava knew that when the lava cooled, it turned to rock. <gasps> igneous rock. Lava, molten, melting, cooled down. Igneous rock. They began to think about ways they could make this happen quickly in order to save the town. If they could get the lava to turn to rock, it would not be able to flow into the town. Also, it would not be able to flow into the ocean and block the harbor. They wondered if it would be possible to pump the cold water onto the lava to cause it to harden. If they could form enough rock from the lava to create a dam, maybe they could stop the town from being destroyed. At first, they used water from the town's water supply. However, they soon realized that they needed more water. A huge ship was brought into the harbor that could pump water directly into the ocean, from the ocean into the town. Whoa. Cool. So. Igneous rocks form when other rocks get really, 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 really hot and melt, and then they cool down in different forms, and that forms an igneous rock. And then we have our second part of the rock cycle. Um, I love y'all. Um, take the exit ticket if you want to go back.
and uh, watch my Igneous Rock model again. It's on my YouTube channel, um, which is where you can also find all these videos that I make. Um, I've got a couple songs in the works for y'all um, to help you remember, to help you remember uh, this, how sedimentary rocks form. Um, but I'm still working on recording videos for that. So all in good time, my friends. I love you. Goodbye.